Hey everybody, it is Saturday morning. I'm heading out and I'm going to, you know, do some Uber. I'm going online at about uh, 11 a.m. There's a few yard sales and stuff that I saw yesterday, but I did get a delivery request. Forget where it actually was that I picked up from, but doing the drop off in Ronson's Vales. It was on the second floor. No elevator, just stairs. <laughs> Not a big deal. And uh, yeah, some Halloween decorations going up in the neighborhood. That's nice to see. It is almost October, guys. And uh, there happened to be a yard sale over here that I saw posted on Craigslist. I didn't think I was going to come out this far, but hey, I was over here. So why not check it out? Personally, not much stuff there for me, so keep on riding. And uh, yeah, saw some flyers. Another yard sale by the uh, No Frills that lands down here. Lots of uh, kids' toys. Kind of a weird yard sale, like all the stuff is like bagged, well like a bunch of it. I wonder if these people are actually just like reselling kids stuff or maybe they're just really organized, I don't know. But yeah, neat I guess. And then another Lansdowne yard sale, some tables and stuff. I wasn't gonna get the this like water fountain thing, but I don't know. For five bucks, I could use the pump of it or whatever and some of uh, my aquarium stuff that I've uh, been trying to get into. And it works, so hopefully that uh, is worth it. I don't know. I didn't really need it. But uh, yeah. So just some more yard sailing. <laughs> I'm finally getting to the area that I uh, set out for in the uh, morning. Yesterday I saw the flyers for stuff in this area and yeah, lots of kitchen stuff, some books and clothing, nothing I was really interested in. Yeah, bit of a bust here, but uh, you know, that's just how it is with the art sales. Sometimes you find a thing and a lot of the times it's kind of just some junk. I thought there'd be less uh, yard sales this time of year, but uh, I guess it's kind of the perfect weather for it. And then I came to Gladstone Avenue for their uh, street party that they're doing. And I didn't get that far in. I got a, an Uber request after uh, like a few uh, minutes there for a Rexall, a shop and pay. It was $11 to pick up one item, so kind of seemed worth it to me and uh yeah it's in the Galleria mall haven't been to this mall in a while they've uh changed it a lot now it's just I think this is the entire mall it used to like turn and then go further back and there was a Zellers yeah so I got that gravel and that's going down to Ronson's Vale area again and as I'm biking on Dundas West here, the strip of trees, they cut all those trees down to build that uh, sound barrier wall. And I was kind of pissed when they did that because this is supposed to be a tree protection zone. But it looks like the new trees are doing all right. And that's good. So yeah, did that drop off. And because I was riding on Dundas West, I saw another yard sale sign. Pointed back up closer to DuPont, so went and checked that out. It's only probably like 12, 12 ish. The lady here is like, yeah, come check it out. We already sold most of the stuff, but you know, I'm like, did you sell most of your stuff? Who knows? Maybe they had some really balling stuff here earlier in the day, but yeah. From there, I got another request from the uh, Junction Triangle area, some breakfast. So I went and got that. And again, that's going, hmm, where is this, like Dundas and Sororan? And then another request from Aronson's Vales. Lots of West End deliveries today. 
and uh, they're they're a bit distant, but uh, you know they're coming in at a decent pace right there. So that's something. And I dropped that off at like Gladstone Avenue. I thought about going up for that block party, but uh, you might remember like a week ago I was having trouble with my bike, like the rear axle was rotating and might uh, pinch the cable or something. That's happening again. So I wanted to go over to the Amigo bike and see if I could pick up a new bolt or whatever it's called. You can see it's halfway turned and it doesn't look like the uh, cable's at risk of uh, getting pinched or anything right now, but I do need this new washer. The sales guy didn't know what I was asking for when I first came in, but with the picture, and a mechanic came over and he's like, this is an anti-rotational. And they gave me one for free, which is always nice when you get a free piece of, uh, you know, something to fix your bike. Personally, I kind of wish they had just charged me so I could ask for three of them. Because if you don't have any backups, it's like, you know, I'm going to be riding around at like 1 a.m. or something gets fucked up. And then the whole day is ruined after that. Uh, but anyways, as you can see, I'm headed over to the Ontario placed West Island. That's right, guys. It was almost 2 p.m. after getting that uh, anti-rotational, so I figured the timing just works out for me to go and join the rally to save the trees at Ontario Place. It's uh, kind of funny where they have uh, security on the island be like, oh, you can't cross this fence, guys. But, uh, yeah, I found the gathering point, and... It's a little bit before 2 p.m. or maybe like right on 2 p.m. I don't know, but it's already a number of people here. And uh, if you don't know, this, this is like one of the early pictures of the Mega Spa. People complain about how much space that they would lose on Ontario Place to the spa. Because really, you could just walk along the outer room. And then they proposed a new version where they have a green rooftop that you can walk along this path. And... I mean, that might look nice, but it like snakes around a lot, and I thought that would make it so it didn't have stairs, but there's still stairs in it. So for me, I couldn't like bike up here, and for anyone in a wheelchair, you, you can't really enjoy the rooftop green space. And all the renders are very focused on the edge of the, uh, the island. It really is, you're just going to have the edge again, instead of the core island. But yeah, they're scheduled to cut down the bulk of these adult trees. So, that's bullshit, dude. Anyways, that bald guy, that's Norm. He's the one who organizes and uh, runs the Ontario Place for All Twitter account. It gives a lot of updates on what people are doing. And uh, yeah, he's doing some chanting. We gotta save these trees, guys. Yeah, here's Counselor Asuma Malik. She's been talking about how uh, the government is skipping the public consultation, not talking with the city, just going ahead, trying to cut down these trees. And Chris Glover, he was also here. He really talked about uh, the taxes and how we're gonna be subsidizing like a. Uh, 650 million dollar parking lot they want to have a five-story underground parking right on the lake which is kind of nuts and they haven't really talked about how they're going to upgrade the facilities like electrical water sewage to actually supply a mega spa here and that's going to cost everybody everyone on ontario at least so yeah I was there for about half an hour and decided to leave and <laughs> yeah, looking at that little gully. That's one of my favorite parts of it right now, which probably get filled in one of these days, even if they don't build a spa, but it'd be cool if they just had a like more natural gully instead of a fiberglass painted rocks kind of thing. I don't know. 
But anyways, after the rally, hung out on the water for a little bit and uh, watched the birds, got some swans swimming by. You know, if you've uh, watched the channel for a long time, I generally say that protests kind of feel like they do nothing. But, you know, yesterday we got news that the green belt selling that off to developers has been reversed. So, hey, maybe it did do something. All the journalists reporting on all the bullshit. So, who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe the people will win and Ontario Place won't get sold to a Therma Spa for 95 years. Yeah, it's the 407 all over again, but yeah. Anyways, I'm uh, heading home now. It's already been kind of a day, but uh, we got noon blanche coming up tonight. So wanted to get home and work on my bike as well as eat some food. Maybe have a little bit of a nap, which I kind of just gloss over in the video. But, uh, yeah, did get home around four or five and I did, uh, replace the anti-rotational bolt or washer. I guess it's more of a washer. I don't know. But yeah, kind of a pro at replacing, uh, or taking on and off this, uh, rear wheel. Took me a long time the first time because of all well, these anti-rotationals got like jammed in the frame. And, uh, yeah. Everything's good, so should be all set for our new blush tonight. And then around 6.30, I'm leaving my house and headed over to Adam and Don's. Our current plan for new blush is to check out the Danforth section with Tyler. Tyler's, uh, unfortunately he's got plans early in the morning tomorrow, so he's not going to be with us for the whole night, but... We'll have a walk around the Danforth and see what's going on. Yeah, the Don Valley. The leaves are starting to change color there. And uh, yeah, it's already 7 p.m. now, so seeing a few installations starting up, lots of uh, live performances. Well, you know, some. But uh, yeah, I wanted to get Adam and Don out before I check out any of the stuff too much. And uh, yeah, here we are, starting off in the parkette. We got Conrad, which you might remember from the winter stations. This was a bit of like a memorial kind of thing for that raccoon that died and went viral in like 2015. Yeah, in general, I'm gonna show you guys art and then I'll try to show the little plaque that uh, as the explanation of our artist intent and stuff. However, sometimes it might not be readable or there's just too many crowds of people and I didn't get the, the footage of the plaque. Sorry if that happens, guys, but I'm trying to see a lot of stuff tonight, so <laughs> I guess I'm always in a bit of a rush during New Blush. But yeah, this is pretty cool. I always like to see a moving sculpture. Yeah. And to be honest, I didn't read a lot of these artist statements. I personally kind of just like to look at the art and think whatever I'm going to think about it. And, you know, I make things myself, so I can appreciate the effort that goes into most of these things. Even if it does kind of just feel like, oh, okay, it's like some hexagonal mirrors and like you wrote out some stuff. It all takes effort, like, you know. So yeah, walking along the Danforth, pretty neat. And um, if you're an art store, like I think this is a pottery shop, definitely a, a good night to be open all night. I thought this was an exhibit. It might have just been an escape room. <laughs> but neat nonetheless. Uh, yeah. This uh, cut up paper. Cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, somebody doing tarot readings. That's fun. And this is a classic New York Lash. A projection of a video and some uh, leaves or something around it. Yeah. We crossed the street at the wrong time and uh, there's something about a dress over there. Sorry guys. But it's new and blush, you know, you can't see it all. Even though I'm trying to show it all. <laughs> oh, this one. Some VHS tapes projected on stuff of uh, family videos. Hey, you know, I can't help but be a little bit nostalgic for uh, VHS tapes. My dad uh, had like a whole wall of like car races and TV shows that he would record and we'd watch them. Yeah, I guess I haven't mentioned it, but the theme for the Danforth section of New England is like the future of the Danforth and kind of asks artists to think about like what would it be like on the Danforth in 200 years. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, I find it's best if uh, that's just kind of a kickoff point. And ultimately, like artists, just do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, enjoying the murals here. Yeah, that's one of the things that's nice about New Blush is like, Toronto does just have nice murals and art around. And it's just a night dedicated to that. Uh, you can also enjoy the stuff that you see every day. You never know when you're gonna feel inspired by the kind of things that you see. Just the day to day life. Yeah. Oh, this one looks like it was done by a group of students. Which is pretty fun. And uh, yeah, you can definitely see some people are like really good at painting in this class. I like this uh, space one. Van Gogh-esque. <laughs> That's fun. Some live music going on. Yeah. Oh man, this drummer over here. What can I say? Drummers are just cool dudes. Mm. Yeah, everything is a mural. <laughs> yeah, didn't get great footage of this. It was very crowded over here. Sorry. Some lady dancing hardcore next to these dudes. Which personally, I like to see it, you know? Feel that music, lady. Oh yeah, this uh, chalkboard was funny. Lots of kids writing stuff on here. And like as soon as that picture was done, like whoever is monitoring the chalkboard just starts erasing everything that they did. <laughs> like, uh, okay, is that a part of it? I don't know. Maybe. Mm, the Danny Love. It's weird. I uh, don't think I've heard people refer to the Danforth as the Danny before. And up here, all the chalk drawings. This might have been one of my favorite ones. You know, I, I like it when it's interactive and you can see all the stuff that other people have done. And uh, yeah, unfortunately I didn't record the plaque about this, but I think it was something about fighting anti-Islamic phobia stuff, hopefully. I don't know, sorry guys, but. That was one of the neat ones. 
And uh, yeah, here's a couch with a bunch of clothes on it. I was not impressed. Yeah. And here, I think this is just some renegade art. You know, this is kind of like an abandoned lot right now. It's just like some weird storage container on it. Oh yeah, strobe warning. Sorry guys. This is from last year. But it was one of the cool ones, so why not bring it back out? I feel like that, uh, <laughs> with a lot of the new blush stuff. Like, why not bring those cool ones back, guys? And here's, like, some plastic stuff. There's actually, like, moss and it's supposed to be, like, terrariums in those hanging bags. Kind of a cool idea. But, uh, you know, when I see a lot of plastic, I my eyes kind of glaze over. Yeah. Oh yeah, the coyotes from last year. Again, another fun one. Oh yeah, so uh, this is Secret Planet. They've apparently made the poster for the Danforth section and they've got a installation in their window dot 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 kind of cool I'm a little bit tired here so we sat for a while and Don got a Danforth forever t-shirt some Danforth swag neat and uh yeah now we're walking back towards Adam and Don's Coming up to funeral for a funeral home. I guess there was a funeral home here. Or, I mean, it's still here, but they're gonna demolish it soon and put up some condos. Kind of watching the video for a while. It's a bit of a shame that the side that you could see is uh, not very bright. The other side is like in an alleyway and kind of narrow. But yeah, the video itself was kind of weird. It started talking about like this head of St. Catherine and they like weren't supposed to have it and some guard looked at it and then it turned into rose petals and then it turned it back into a head and I was like wait a minute how much of this story is real like they got a mummified head somewhere as a holy relic and it seems like they do just have a mummified head in like Italy somewhere so if you wanted to go see a mummified head you know, put that on the list of things to do when you're in Italy. Crazy. Like, guys, that's not normal. Maybe you shouldn't go advertising that. And, uh, yeah. Future of the Dance Force, uh, poster. That's the thing that I think, uh, the strength, what is that called? Secret Planet person to, uh, uh made? Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, lots of food vendors and stuff out tonight, too. Oh, man. Guys, this was a long video. And it's not even the end of the night. So, come back for tomorrow's uh, video if you want to keep seeing more Nui Blanche. All the weird stuff that we saw. And, uh, I'll be a bit of an old crotchety man about some of it. You know, I'm like, hmm, I don't know if that counts as art, guys. I don't like it when these people vape. That's what's in store for uh, tomorrow's episode. Yeah. Later, guys. <laughs>